TGIF everyone how are you today this is today's nail design it's really simple and it's just putting in place um, the strokes that you actually learned last year and um, for those that are joining us now it's considered an abstract and we're simulating a filigree okay and um, if you were with me last week you know that I broke this side of my nail right here and um, since that time I broke this side I'm preparing for some stuff so I've been moving furniture around so when we last spoke what I did is I applied just some glue and went over it so since then since I broke it here and on the other side as you can see it's below um, my natural free edge so that'd be pretty painful so what I did is I applied a layer of acrylic just a real light if you can see um, you know it's not very thick but it's secure enough and so that's what you ladies can do if you have a break and it's below your quick you know on a show as we call it your me that's one alternative way to um, repair it and not have um, any discomfort and then what I'll do is I'll just wait until it grows out and it since it's such a light layer I'll then remove it so anyways enough of that um, and if you don't know how to apply the acrylic over natural nails uh, go ahead and review one of my older videos okay so anyways what we want to do is the first thing you've done is you've manicured your nails either dry or oil manicure push back your cuticles you've applied your base coat I prefer the nail for life but your base coat of a choice and then next we're going to apply our um, polish our to um, for our free edge this is a French and what I did is I used um, China glaze and all of the details will be in the description box this one is uh, brownstone you guys remember that root brownstone anyways okay so and how did we learn to do the French is we just lay the brush on the side of our nail and then we turn our fingernail and that gives us a nice fresh clean line and then we'll just go ahead and uh, touch it up I want it to go round because if you noticed on the other nails I'm bordering this line with um, gold dots I so like the bling or shine but um, I have some other things to do and so I don't really want a lot of glitter or the stones to interfere and so actually I think I want to fine fine tune that a little more and of course like I said you're the artist so whatever you choose to do is going to be okay because only you can really see the finished design in your head okay and so now I'll just drag the, that polish on down you don't want it to be really thick and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, let this dry I really want this to be a little more oval it's really time for me to cut these nails once they start breaking that low okay so I think that's fine so now we'll let it dry okay now what we want to do is I put some of our acrylic paint on our plastic coffee cup top rather coffee top and I'm using our dotting tool to do our filigree design and while we were away I was thinking for a short nail you can do a reverse moon so that's what I did here and um, for a short nail because there was no room for me to do the filigree okay so now I'm going to take the smaller end of the uh, dotting tool to use and what we're going to do is just load it up and you want to make sure you have a little nice consistency because that's like really the tri trick excuse me to making sure that you can really do your circles I like to work with my product to my right so whatever you prefer 
And um, I also like my design to be on the outer portion of my hand. So when I um, have my hands out, it's um, actually reflected on the outside. So I'm going to turn my thumb to the side and I'm going to start. And I'm just going to make C's. Remember how we started off and we were just making like little C's? So that's what we're doing. And um, you can pat, pat your dot if that gives you more control and this is also um, a stroke that we'll use let's see, let's see up here. this is also a stroke that we'll use to achieve um, roses I don't know um, how many of you still like to wear flowers but um, this is one of the uh, ways to do that and then you want to, you know, break it up, not necessarily be all uh, too uniform. I have a few dots, almost like when we're doing the uh, animal print. Bring it up here a little more. And I'm trying to end up at towards the angle, more of a diagonal than I did on my other fingers. Because being my thumb, you have more room to work with. And I'll just finish up some there. So that's how that's going to end up. And now I want to border our fringe. Since we didn't do anything on it, I want to go ahead and border it with the dots. So I'm just going to dot. And of course, how far away the dots are and um, what size is all dependent on you. And uh, just release your creativity tenure on lockdown in the classroom and you have to make a design I don't know for those that like arts and crafts and so there we go and um, lastly you want to go ahead and clean up um, if you're doing a full set you might want to take another method but I'm just doing this now oh I almost forgot the thumb for the shorties uh, let me go ahead and get that back going and um, we'll go ahead and border our half moon I feel so strange you guys not um, not adding any uh, diamonds or 3d bows or glitter or something but I don't want to have to I won't have time to remove the design moving into my next step so now that's how that looks and in this upper moon I have the um, chance I can go ahead and do a filigree of some sort to um, bring it back into play with the other nail just kind of pull our design together there we go and so now um, like I said, we'll go ahead and clean that up. I just put some remover in the top. And you can go around your edges if you need to with your Q-tip. And you just want to make sure you moisturize your cuticles. And uh, that's a simple design. And lastly, you want to just top coat and you're out the door. This is a really simple design that you can really be creative and um, I'll show you or actually I think I already did in the beginning my um, thumbnail I've been wearing this same purse and boots and so this brown and gold because the boots are and the purse are brown and the accents the buckles and stuff are gold so this works for me and I hope it's going to work for you. In any case, you choose your favorite colors and show me on Facebook. Alrighty, or show me here. I'd love to see. Until next time, God bless you. Be safe and be well. Bye now. Thanks for watching.